Hi everybody, it's Nani. How y'all doing today? I'm doing really good. I have another Dollar Tree haul for you today. Before I start, how you like my earrings and my necklace and my ring? It's all from Shein, guys. If you didn't watch my hauls a few hauls back, there's a two-parter with different things that I bought from Shein and I'm so, so pleased with that order. So yeah, I just, I really like them a lot. So anyway, we're going to start with the Dollar Tree haul. I finally found them. I've been on the hunt, couldn't find them. Finally, in one store, I did. And it's the Barbasol ear and nose trimmer with stainless steel blades and it's battery powered. I have been on the lookout for these. I just think they're going to make nice stocking stuffer gifts for Christmas for the men in my life. I did pick up three. I showed them in my thumbnail. I just think it's great. I'm going to try. I still haven't found the, um, like the travel grooming bags that they have for men right now for Father's Day. I have I have looked and looked and looked and can't find them. So if I don't, so be it. I'll just find something else before Christmas. But I'm going to make kind of a grooming travel type kit for each of the men in my life because everybody travels around and they're really nice to have. Throw shaving cream, razors, um, maybe a little thing of Q-tips, a toothbrush, toothpaste, all that type of stuff in one of the grooming kits, grooming bags. And I think that'll be great for them. So I picked up three of these. If any of you have tried these, let me know what you think. Are they... Are they of decent quality? Why are they in Dollar Tree right now? It says they're portable, battery powered, washable heads. And it says for the heads, just run underwater for easy cleaning. I just thought that that, it does have a two year, a um, two year extended warranty on it. So they must be halfway decent, right? So yeah, I picked up three. I'm gonna put them aside. I have a big bin going already for things to, you know, for the ladies in my life and the men in my life and the kids in my life, everything's going to go in there. So I got those. Another interesting thing, I finally, I've seen so many people haul these. So I picked up three packs. They're the face masks. In our state, we're, you know, we're finally winding down. If you've been vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. I think on the 28th of June, you're not going to have to at all anymore but I want to still keep masks on hand. There may come a time that, you know, you have to wear one just to respect somebody else or whatever it may be. So I want to keep some on hand and you just never know when something like this can happen again. And then we're not going to be able to find them just like this last time. And so if I see more, I may pick up a couple more packs just to have, but these are the solid black ones. They're disposable. You get 10 masks in here. They're three ply, non-woven filtered material, elastic ear loops, and it goes on and on from there. But it's just the regular, the regular face mask. And these are just all solid black. These are kind of, I thought maybe the men in my life would like these. These are like the camo, digital camo print. I'm not quite sure what you call that. But I thought those were kind of on the manly side. So I picked those up along with the black one. And then I saw these and just thought they were they were really nice. And with the 4th of July coming up, not quite sure what the plans are. You know, if we go out anywhere and, you know, it's necessary to wear a mask, they're the American flag. And I thought those were really nice. So, and they're all the same. You know, they're all just the, the disposable face masks. So I picked up three packs, so that's 30 masks right there, and I may pick up maybe two more. They did have other styles too. I know one was solid black with white polka dots. I can't remember what the others were, but and this was all in one store that I saw these. So I may may go ahead and pick up a couple more packs if I see them, just, just to have them on hand. You just never know. So I thought it was an excellent deal to find packs of 10. Um, we're going to go ahead and Let's just finish with the like beauty, health and beauty type aisle. I finally found these. I've seen a lot of people hauling them. They're the women's razor kits. I only picked up one because I'm so picky with my razors. And it's by the, the Assured brand. And it is one razor handle and three blade cartridges. 
And how many blades are there? They are they are a three blade razor. But I thought that was pretty nice. They also had the men's version, but hubby didn't really want it. You know, I should have picked up two of those to put in the men's bags for Christmas. Didn't think about it at the time. Now I will, I will remember. But I'm gonna give it a try and see. I'm so picky with my razors. So many razors just tear my legs to shreds. So if you guys have tried these, let me know how they work. Are they okay? What is that blade on there? Oh, it has the the lubricated strip for a soft shave, easy to grip handle, and triple blade. So maybe with that lubricating strip, maybe maybe they'll work okay. But yeah, we're gonna give it a try. I should have picked up two more and given one to each of my daughters. I don't know where my head was that day in the store. I'm telling you, it's just crazy sometimes. I needed these. I buy these quite often. Well, it's probably been two years since I've bought them, but. These are the little tiny hair clips. And this is a 12 pack claw clips by Greenbrier. I use these whenever I'm straightening my hair. My hair is naturally a really yucky, wavy hair. So I straighten it all the time. And I'll separate my hair and clip it up with these little claw clips. I just do it into sections. And I really like this tiny, tiny size. So I saw them there and I think I'm only down to two now. I think I've broken them all and have two left. So I figured it was time to pick up a pack and I saw them and I grabbed them. These, these work really well. They're nice and tight. They last a long time. Usually it's because of me that they break and I usually drop them on the floor or something like that. But they last a long time and they work really well. So if you're looking for little tiny hair claw clips, they have them at the Dollar Tree right now. I'm just going to throw some of this stuff on the floor. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. Everybody is mowing today, and it's affecting me. I saw this. They have a lot of Power Stick products in the store right now. And this is the Power Stick for Her Body Wash. And it is in the Peppermint Oil and Aloe Vera. And it says Moisturizing. And it is a 6.5 fluid ounce tube. And this power stick apparently is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and dye-free. And it says, see your natural beauty bloom. And this is manufactured in the USA from Easton, Pennsylvania. And you guys all know that I am a Pennsylvania girl. So I love Pennsylvania companies and supporting Pennsylvania companies. And I honestly didn't know power stick was. Oh, that smells really nice. I like that. That smells that smells nice. I'm glad I picked that up. I didn't see any other scents of the body wash, the power stick body wash. So of in the tube anyway, you're gonna see something coming up here. So if you guys know if there's any other scents in this, let me know. But I did not see any. But they have this. And this is the men's. This is the power stick three in one. Foaming body wash, shampoo, and conditioner in cool blue, and it is a 12.5 fluid ounce. I assume this is for men, but um, women could use it too. I'm going to smell it. Oh, that smells very nice. I think hubby will like that. I did pick up two of these. Well, he actually picked up two of these. He found it, and he picked them up. So I think he's gonna like that a lot. He likes the three-in-one type products. So he's gonna give that a try and see how he likes it. And my little granddaughters, it has been a while now. I can't remember what the name brand was, but it was in the Dollar Tree maybe a year ago. It was in a can and it was foaming body wash. I cannot remember what the brand was. They absolutely loved that. They have never seen foaming body wash before, so they thought that was the coolest thing. It came out like shaving cream, and they just thought it was absolutely awesome, and they kept telling me to try to find it again, and it was so long ago, I can't even remember what brand it was, but I found the Power Stick for ladies, and this is the, the um, foaming body wash, and it's pomegranate lemon verbena, and it says intense moisture, and it's a 12.5 fluid ounce. So it's foaming. I think they're gonna like this a lot. It is also vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, dye-free, and the men's is dye-free, paraben-free, vegan, and no animal testing. 
manufactured in the USA, manufactured in the USA from Easton, Pennsylvania. So I got two of these to have when the little ladies come down for them to have their foaming body wash. I know they're going to get a kick out of it. Oh, and that smells very nice too. I like that a lot. I definitely smell the pomegranate over the lemon verbena. So pick that up for them. And little ladies, let's do the littlest lady, our little baby granddaughter. Picked her up another book. We actually got three, but I think two of them that hubby picked up, we already bought for her for in her Easter, Easter basket. So those two will stay here. But picked her up this one. She's three months now, guys. It's crazy. Probably by the time you see this video, she'll be pushing four months. But it's Sesame Beginnings, and it's called At the Zoo. And it has, it has Cookie Monster and Elmo and just very bright, bright, bright colors. So cute. Oh, my gosh. Look at that elephant. How sweet is that? So, and they're, they're the hard, hard, thick cardboard type books. Pick that up for her, and it has parenting tips on the back. It says it's never too early to start reading to your baby, and that is so absolutely true. True. The minute you find out that you are pregnant, start reading to your baby. It is so important, and it does make a difference. But let me see. Where are these made? These are apparently the company name is Benden, Ashland, Ohio. And they are by Greenbrier. That's interesting. So we picked that, picked these up for her. There are two more, but I didn't bring them up to show them because I believe I showed them to you way back when I was gathering up things for in their Easter baskets. So absolutely love that. And another thing, I was so surprised to see the actual baby clothes, clothes in the Dollar Tree. I've seen socks, of course, and bibs and that type of thing, but never actually onesies. So I picked up one, one of each. There were some other colors. I believe there was a dark gray and maybe a brown. I didn't grab those, but I picked up this pink one and it is by Briscoe Baby. Let me see if I can, if it says where. I don't know where they are manufactured but it's called Rabbit Skins, if you can see it on the tag there. I'm trying to read here and it says there's easy tear labels. It says it's made in India. And this was the six month size. She's growing like a weed. They're already buying her six month clothes. So I'm gonna give this to, give this to them the next time I see them. But it has the snap that snaps in the front for easy change of diaper. And it has little white, little white trim around it. And just so, so cute. Very lightweight. Now for the summertime, I thought that would work great. So I just picked up one of those. And I also saw this one by the same company, Briscoe Baby. And this is an 18 month. So I figured I'd put this away and maybe put it for her for Christmas. Much, much bigger. But this one kind of has the boy short legs. And I see something, I see a spot on there. Yes, there's a spot on there. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if maybe it's from my water cup, but I see a spot. I'm gonna pay attention to that and hopefully I can get it out. But it kind of has the boy short legs, the snap, the snap in the crotch. This would be great for a boy, but why can't girls wear black too, right? Whenever I hold up anything black, my eyes get extremely blue. Did you notice that? I kind of like that. <laughs> but anyway, this is an 18 month, so this is not going to fit her for quite a long time. But I, I didn't want to pass it up. And they didn't have any in this style and color in a six month size. So this was the only size was the 18 month. So that's why I picked that up. And then for the, the bigger granddaughters in their sock boxes, I found some more socks. And this should be it for socks other than maybe once the holiday season starts rolling around, if they bring out, you know, maybe for the fall and Christmas, maybe I can find some socks then, but I should be good to go for them now. And this is the Juncture brand kids. This is the size seven to two. So this will be for the eight year old. And three. it's a three pack. 
and it has the earth on there and I just thought that was so pretty with a, a flower halo and it's almost like she's hugging herself I just thought that was so cute and it's a basic white sock with the pink pink at the at the cuff I'm trying to see if it's on the toe as well I do not believe it's on the toe but I just thought that was really cute and it is on the front and the back and it comes with just a solid pink pair and then a real hot pink and white striped pair. So that is going to go in the sock box. And then I got this one for the older granddaughter. I had found another pack, three pack with donuts and that will probably go in the eight year olds and this will go in the 10 year olds. And this one just seems more like her. It kind of looks like um, a donut, but yet a planet at the same time. And I, I think I've said it in the last one, when they come to visit, it's tradition that we go to get donuts. So donuts are a big thing in this house. So I thought it was really cute to put donut socks in their sock box. But it's a gray sock with the design, with the stars and the donuts that look like planets. And it is on both front and back. And then you get a solid white pair of socks. And then you get this crazy bright, bright lime green with white, white stripe with the gray toe and heel and cuff. So um, those will go in the girls' sock boxes. And like I said, I think we're good on that now. And then, let me see. Poppy, hubby. Yep, picked up some magical poop. He knows that the grand ladies are gonna be here and thought that this would be hysterically funny. So he picked up some magical poop. I'm assuming they look like little, <laughs> little poops. I don't know. But it says, what is this called? Sophie Pops and Gumdrops is the name of the company. And it's a 3.53 ounce. It's just adorably cute. And this is manufactured exclusively for... Monarch LLC of New Brunswick, New Jersey, but it is a product of Guatemala and it is best before date of February 21st of 22. So I guess when the grandkids come over, they're going to be eating some magical poop. Have you tried them? Are they good? We're going to, we're going to find out here soon. <clears throat> I'm so sorry guys. And then I saw these and I just could not pass them up. It is the Webster's Notebook Dictionary and the Webster's Notebook Thesaurus, and it is by the American Education American Education Publishing. And in the U.S., these went for $4.95, $7.95 in Canada. And I thought these were so cool. And it says from the premier educational publisher, pre-K through 12. It is just this one is a dictionary. I thought that was so cool. You know, I remember when I was, I believe it was fourth grade, that I got my first dictionary and I still have it. It is it is on the bookshelf right over here. I still have my very first dictionary. It was just so special to me and I, I don't know why. I just thought it was the coolest thing ever to get my own dictionary. But here's the thesaurus and it's the same by Webster's and it is a thesaurus. So I figured, um, I only saw, this was the only thesaurus that I saw in the book, in the store, and there were several of the dictionaries. I should have picked up another one of the dictionaries, but I don't know, maybe I'll just give one book to one of the older granddaughters and one book to the other, and then maybe they can share. But I just thought that was really cool. I've never seen, never seen something like this in the Dollar Tree. So if I see them again, I may pick up another set. You know, just so they each have their own. Because maybe they'll think it's pretty special like I did when I was in fourth grade. But I picked up another thing of my, my bowl covers. This There's 17 count in here. Three different sizes by Shore Fresh. This is called the Variety Pack. You get four small, seven medium, and six large. I absolutely love these. Use them all the time. Love them. And they're very hit and miss in my store right now for some reason. Right now they were all stocked up, but I just grabbed one box because I did find a box in another store here a few weeks back. So I still have those. Picked up one box of those. Love them. 
And I think I said in one of my last hauls about the soy sauce, and I forgot to bring it up with me. It was the LaChoy brand, name brand soy sauce. Have they always had this and I just didn't know? I passed over it. But this is LaChoy all-purpose soy sauce, and it's in the original flavor. It is a 10 fluid ounce bottle. I'm trying to see if I can find an expiration date. It says distributed by ConAgra Brand Foods out of Chicago, Illinois. Um, I'm not seeing that it's made somewhere else. So I'm not sure, and I do not see an expiration date. Oh, it's at the top. Am I gonna be able to read it? It is February of 24. So long shelf life on this. And sorry guys, my hair keeps getting in my eyes. But yeah, I couldn't pass that up. Hubby loves soy sauce. He goes easy on soy sauce, but he loves soy sauce on certain things. So picked up a bottle, and I know the bottle we have in the fridge right now is just about gone. So I could not pass that up. Great deal. You know, LaChoy and that that balsamic vinegar that I saw or po yeah, posted showed in my last video, you know, the Progresso could not pass that up either. Great deals right now at the Dollar Tree. So keep your eyes open, guys. But I think, I think that is it for this haul. If you guys like these kind of videos, you're watching, you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Excuse me. It's like first I'm coughing, now I'm getting hiccups. I have talked way too much today. This is my fifth video that I have done. I am exhausted. I carry up as much as I can at one time, but going up three flights of stairs, well, two complete flights of stairs, a hundred times doing these videos, uh, it's tiring, but it's worth it. I love it. But this is my last one for today. Anyway, guys, subscribe, please. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Y'all have a great day. And if you guys hear stuff in the background, it's a nice day today. Everybody is out mowing and I apologize. There's nothing I can do about that. So have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you again here really soon.